Hello guys, in our previous ROS video, we learned about few concepts such as ROS workspaces, nodes and packages. In this video, we'll learn about ROS publishers, subscribers. So for more info, stay tuned. So what is a publisher? A publisher is a ROS node that publishes or sends specific type of ROS message over a given ROS topic. Let's learn how to create an ROS publisher. Okay. So first let's go into source ls and then we'll go into robot tutorials and to scripts. which is our path and then there we will create a file name as transmitter.py let's do that now we need to give this file a specific permission which is the executable permission which we'll do by chmod space plus x transmitter.py now when we'll do ls it turns into green color it means now it is in executable file Now let's edit that file transmitter.py. Uh, let's write our code. Let's start from hash exclamation slash user slash bin slash n python3 for ROS Noitec. Import ROSPy and then import std messages. So this is one of the dependencies which we need to import. Let's import string from here. Yeah, dot message. So that's important because we're importing the message from the standard messages dependency. Now do if name equals main and let's do rospy.init underscore node so we are creating a node so we'll name it transmitter yeah so this is our transmitter node so which will be sending data the next is we'll create a variable name pub and uh, no this will be publisher so we'll give it publisher and then we'll give some parameters so it's very easy the first parameter is the topic name so we'll just create a topic name robot transmitter the second parameter is string so we are sending string data the third pro parameter is queue size so this much data will be sent continuously so let's keep our queue size to 10 Now let's run a loop, a uh, while loop where we'll be continuously publishing data but before that we'll do, uh, we'll uh, basically give some delay between the sent data. This is rate of data sent, which we'll keep as 2 and now we'll do our while loop. So if Rospy is not uh, shut down by us, it means it's not cancelled by the user side. What needs to happen is we need to be sending this data continuously which is the string message so message is equal to string message data now we'll be giving so let's write some message data here which will for me it will be hi this is Pratmesh so yeah, that's it. And now let's put publish here. So we'll be sending this data, we'll be sending this message data, we'll be publishing it. So that's done. Now let's uh, give it little rest after each data is sent. And that's it. Now let's save this file. But before that, wait, I just forgot, we need to uh, also, uh, you know, give a specific message if 
the thing is not working if it is not transmitting data so basically we write transmitter has stopped stop and let's save this and that's it now let's try to run this a python 3 transmitter.py uh okay i missed an equal here let's correct that my mistake okay there's some error i'm not getting what is the error um let me check and okay, what is it not getting uh, okay let's let's uh, yeah let's put a slash here let's check it again saving it if it helps you know maybe oh no it's still throwing the error okay okay let's try doing indentations like it is telling us to okay yeah yeah now it's working it is showing unable to register with master node because we need to first you know start the rosco in the terminal now let's type ros core and then run our python file okay uh okay i found my error actually it's not capital r here it's tiny r yeah let's save it again and let's do this okay let's see uh, the ros uh, all the topics here so these are two default ros out and add and robot transmitter is our topic let's try to print this onto a terminal so the command for that would be um i think it was ros topic so let me check yeah i think yeah it's ros topic echo okay i wait yeah ros topic echo robot transmitter which is our topic basically and see if it's printing yeah this is printing so the creation of a publisher was successful this way now let's check out what a subscriber is a lot of you might already know a subscriber is a node that subscribes to a specific topic where data has been received so that it can receive messages published to the specific topic usually by the publisher uh let's learn how to create a subscriber for ourselves so let's create a subscriber uh so to create a file we need the touch command touch um receiver.py will name it receiver because we need uh, we name the publisher's uh, transmitter so we will name the subscriber as the receiver now as the drill goes we'll do ch mode plus x to make this file executable Let's do that. Yeah, now it's executable. Now let's edit the um, file. Yes. Yeah, by doing hash exclamation user slash bin slash environment. So this is uh, for creating a Python environment for us. so by python 3 and import rospy
uh, now as usual from study messages dot message uh, let's import string and let's write a function known as callback callback receive now let's write a function name callback um, receive data so this will be used to receive data and give a parameter called as message so this function will be called now let's do rospy.log info not in fee info and print that message but before we'll just write a small display basically and the message is received to us so after each recurring message is received uh, this print this will be printed on the screen this message received and the specific message now let's do if name equals main and do rospy dot init node again and name our node like before i'm naming it smartphone you can name it anything and create a variable and subscribe to that uh, topic we created so the topic if you remember it was robot underscore transmitter so make sure you remember this that you subscribe to the topic and not to the node so don't confuse yourselves with that Uh, on second thoughts let's change the name to receiver for our ease because we named the previous one as transmitter Uh, let's check everything and save it uh, like we always do let's run rosco 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 let's run rosco and run a transmitter file and then let's run our receiver file to see if it's all working So you can see we have this topic robot transmitter which is on and if we echo it we will get the value but why do it now and you can see it's showing us message hooray so we successfully did this and that's it for this video so guys uh, in this video we just learned about publisher and subscriber but i promise you in the next video we'll be interfacing leader and we'll be fetching data into the ros and we'll be continuing this series ros for raspberry pi uh, sorry and we'll be continuing this series ros for raspberry pi just for you so make sure to subscribe stay safe stay tuned at robo.in